have the BT Res digital display. Um, I've had this display for a couple of months now, and I'm about to do an in-depth review of every feature on here. Uh, what comes in the box, uh, obviously, is a touch display. There is a mounting bracket that goes into the back. It attaches to the CD player. Uh, the CPU, uh, there is a gigabyte USB thumb drive, and there is a, a step-down converter for your power that goes from 12 volts to 5 volts. There's also a wiring harness and a trim removal tool. So on this first page, we have boost, wastegate, knock, lambda, low pressure fuel, and high pressure fuel values. On this lower bar, we have uh, air temps, transmission temps, ethanol content, DA, and over to the far right hand corner, we have power setting, BT res menu, and the dyno spectrum menu. So on the second page, we have a G meter, throttle, ignition, load, direct injection, and port injection. So on this third page, we have everything combined. So we have the boost, wastegate, high pressure fuel, low pressure fuel, lambda, knock, direct injection, port injection, load, ignition, and throttle. But on this first upper line, whenever you do a pull, it gives you the max and the mins, and it also gives you target and actual boost. On the second line, you have trip, and that basically records every parameter from when you first start the vehicle to when you turn the vehicle off, and it gives you the max and the mins and the target boost and the actual boost as well. And uh, one thing about the BT Res is if you want to reset those values back to zero, all you have to do is use both of your fingers and tap on the screen, and it'll reset all of those all of those values. And on your fourth page, you have all of your maps. So your 91, your 93, 100, and 104. Stock, valet, max cool, and no start mode. And on your fifth page, you basically have a graph that basically reads out your RPM, your boosts, your low pressure, high pressure, fuel, your knock, your lamb, wastegate, intake air temperatures, target boost, direct injection, port injection, your load, your throttle, and your ignition. And all of that is live. And on your last and final page, you have your fault page so basically it'll read your check read all of your faults and you'll be able to clear them right here with just one button so that's basically it for your main display let's go ahead and get into the BT res main menu so here on the BT Res main menu, it gives you the information of your device down here below, along with your VIN. It also tells you if you're connected to your DS1 and if you're connected to the internet. Uh, if you go to Please Read Me, you'll find information about how to use your BT Res display. If you go to Settings, you'll be able to change Dyno Trans Tire Slip Correction, Dyno Smoothing, Auto Display Dyno, auto system logs time zone and your car making model and if you guys didn't know this has your own personal dyno so basically what you do is you throw it in the manual mode you go ahead and go in the third or fourth gear and you go ahead and you floor the gas from 2000 rpm past 6000 rpm and your dyno will automatically pop up and i'll show you guys that in the logs later also, if you guys are connected to the internet, you'll be able to update your logs and check for updates. You'll also be able to view your logs. And as far as your logs, your logs are uploaded to a cloud where you can access them on your computer or you can save them directly to the USB drive that's provided. 
so that dyno pool I was talking about earlier that virtual dyno this is basically how it will show up after you complete a pool and it'll basically show you your your peak wheel power and your peak wheel torque in newton meters and foot pounds and on this last tab is basically how you get back to your dyno spectrum app this last tab down here you'll see the dyno spectrum symbol you can just tap on that and it'll take you to the dyno spectrum interface complete control over your DSM. you can uh, flash your files cal, cal flash your files you can view anything that you can view on your computer you can view right here on this display right here and in order to get back to your gauges all you have to do is hit gauges and it'll take you right back also in the settings you can swap from manifold air pressure to boost from Celsius to Fahrenheit you can remove that bottom bar and they also have a, a dark mode and the final feature on here is this power button right here so if you're driving at night and you think it's a little bit too bright for you then all you have to do is come over here and press this button and it'll go on to sleep mode if you want to turn it back on just come over here and hit three fingers on there and it'll start right back up and if you guys are worried about the buttons underneath you do not have to worry because the mount is actually hinged so you'll be able to pull it up like that and get access to those buttons And there you have a YouTube, the BT Res display. I personally think this is definitely worth the money. I brought it a couple months ago and I don't have any complaints at all. And if you guys were wondering how it looked with the rest of the MMI system and the interior of the vehicle, I feel like it fits right in. You would have thought it was factory.